the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. God bless you. I appreciate you uh, uh, to joining us and doing our Bible study for the week. Um, and and they just, I break them down in segments. And so I and thank you for uh, taking time to listen to this one that you're going to listen to. And we will encourage you to continue to subscribe and, and, and make comments. And we'll just continue to allow the Holy Spirit to perfect us to do those things that are important. I do want to make sure that one of the things we talked about, the fact is, read the scriptures for yourself. Read the scriptures for yourself. Read the Bible for yourself. Read it and incorporate it in your prayer life. And that's what I do. I like to read the one chapter of the New Testament in the morning and one chapter of the Old Testament at night. You can reverse that, but you need to read the scriptures for yourself and you get better appreciation for the teaching of others that teach the gospel because you they're lining up with the word of god the, the what we talked about today was once again we got the catholic church is is the pope is apologizing for some of the colonial tools and techniques that was used during that time uh that was really not lined up with the gospel the missionary that was a preach the gospel not encourage uh, they call it the doctrine of discovery which is really another colorful way of saying uh, of conquering and putting people in slavery and the fact is that that does not line up with the scripture but if people never knew the scripture people can read the scripture people don't understand the scriptures they can be deceived what i'm saying is for you in 2023 there is no excuse amen so listen to this the, the, this segment here uh we talked about the fact is that uh, the at least i use this one it's still focused on the steal kill and destroy but i did put down there this title that uh, the Pope is actually talking about the, the doctrine of discovery. Uh, so the Catholic, the Catholic Pope is addressing the doctrine of discovery, which really is a doctrine of steal, kill, and destroy. Taking other people's land, taking other people's lives, taking, just destroying who they are, for it, and try to say to do it in the name of Christ. And I'm telling you that that is not the doctrine of Christ. So let's, so that's why it's important for you to, be, to read it now. 2023, you don't have an excuse. Matter of fact, 2023 does not give you an excuse. You don't have an excuse for discrimination. You have no excuse for lying and, and trying to torment people and everything else. You don't have an excuse for it. You, you can't use Christianity as an excuse. And that's what we want to make sure that you as a believer follow the way of Christ. John 14, 6, I'm the way, the truth, and life. No one comes to the Father but by Him. So we got to go His way if we want eternal life. That's a choice. Or you can continue to do the world's way. You can continue to do the rape, the stealing, the killing, the destroying. You can do all those things because you're not following Christ. But don't be deceived to say you are when you're not. That's the point I'm trying to bring out to you, man. So that's what the study is about. Uh, like I said, we'll break it out to A, B, C, and D. And I'll see you when I see you. And don't forget to subscribe. God bless you. And I'll see you later. Enjoy the study coming up. Bye-bye. This, this is the article. Let me put this up here. There's two of them, but they, they're starting to... Grab my glasses. Okay. They're starting to actually address the atrocities of the past. And this is the first article. Get my cursor over here. First, before I get to the article, this is the, the place we, we showed before everybody. Uh, it's all these letters from the Pope that actually gave people permission 
to put other people in perpetual servitude. And, you know, I don't think it, it didn't describe the raping and all those other things as to go do that. They just talk about putting them in perpetual slavery. But apparently people went hog wild even with perpetual slavery, meaning I'm going to do anything I want to do to this person because they're a slave, you know. Uh, but this is Pope Nicholas. He started back in the 1400s uh, to actually issue a letter to the Portuguese uh, press. We read this before. I'm not going to go over that again, but the bottom line is if you if anybody wants to look at it, it was the uh, 1452, uh, 1456, <laughs> uh, there's a 1481, there's a 1514, all of them basically given this doctrine of discovery, all of them given this doctrine of taking from people, all of these are given the doctrine of steal, kill, and destroy. So that, that's been going on for centuries. And his uh, beginning, his article I got here, this is Pope Francis, issued a historic apology for devastating schools, abuses in Canada. Uh, one of the things that the, the, uh, this doctrine of discovery was to actually go in, uh, in the name of Christ, and then re-educate the children to denounce, force them to denounce their parents' religion or parents' faith and, and be taught to do, taught to be a Christian. And then you're like, you're teaching me to be a Christian. <laughs> but you beat that, yay. You beat the heck out of me. Force <laughs> them to be a Christian, yeah. <laughs> it's like, you, it's like your actions are not lined up with these scriptures, and yet you're telling me I'm supposed to accept these scriptures when your actions even line up. It was so, so, <laughs> this was the one that did, I, I, I think what it was, uh, this is, this is in 2022, uh, Pope Francis, the historic apology Monday for the Catholic Church cooperation uh, with Canada. That's another, that's one of our northern governments catastrophic policy of indigenous residential schools saying the forced assimilation of native people into Christianity or Christian society destroyed their cultures, severed families, and marginalized generations in ways still being felt today. Now, that's in Canada, but, you know, they could either put that in, in the United States. Yeah, that, that happened in the U.S. Uh, yeah. There's It's documented. You know, you had these outposts uh, where they gathered in uh, tribes, it, uh, Indian, Indians, yeah. indigenous yeah. uh, folks, and forced them to practice Christianity. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and it was brutal. They beat them, they starved them, they... Uh, they raped them. They they raped them. Yeah. And uh, they just took away all their their culture. They took away their they they wouldn't let them use their language. Mm -hmm. uh, they wouldn't let them talk to their the, their elders or anyone that you know because they took a certain age group. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so they wouldn't let them deal with their families or anything. And they did this all in the name of, of Christianity and, yeah. and religion, you know, and uh, you can't force this on anybody. This is a choice. It's a gift that you either accept or you reject. You I'll know, try, hey, look, uh, I'll try to figure out how do you how do you how do you teach love while you hate it? Yeah. <laughs> and, and that was the big disconnect. You know, I, I, th there was a movie I was watching and it depicted a lot of these uh, actions and uh, it blew me away. You know, yeah. I mean, uh, because their skin was brown, they're going to make them scrub it off. <laughs> you know, actually with a, with a, uh, what do they call those things? Uh, uh, Brillo pad? Yeah. What, uh, and the Brillo pads uh, then were made out of steel, <laughs> you know, so they're just, just 
scraping the skin off of these people. Um, it, it's 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 uh, putting them in hot boxes. Yeah. And making them stay because they spoke in their own language. Right. Or, right. or they didn't do exactly what these people told them to do, or they tried to to escape this persecution. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? And they rightfully doing what they're supposed to do because, like, are you crazy? Y'all yeah. crazy people. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because you're saying one thing, but you're doing something else. Uh, I even seen one. I, I, I couldn't find I'm trying to get it one day. Uh, a Belgium, in Belgium, in Africa, uh, uh -huh. the father didn't make it meet his quota. So they hung. Yeah, hung his, his child. Uh, his child. And while the guy was reading the Bible. Yeah. It's part of the sentences. They would read the Bible. I, you almost care that. What did you read? What were you reading? <laughs> yeah. What What scripture was that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, it's 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 like a, it's it's that. Well, you know when they said the, the God of this world has blinded the minds. Yeah. Uh, but, you know he that that's that's how effective the enemy is, and I'm not trying to give him any credit. Yeah. Uh, but what I am trying to to say is he is very effective against those who are outside mm -hmm. of uh, the, the hand of God and to those who are babes. Yeah, within. exactly. Good and so the, the, the thing is, he, he has gotten so effective with that, that he's gotten this world using what was done uh, on his behalf in this Christian environment by doing these things, by forcing uh, people's hands to become Christians, uh, talking about they're, 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 they're doing it in the name of God or, or Yeshua or Jesus. Yeah. And um, there's no love in any of it. And without that, you are a miss from the beginning. The, every every choice that you make without it is ungodly. So you have people, young young adults now, and, and, and young teenagers and everybody, they're being told these stories. Exactly. So they don't want to have nothing to do with Christianity because you have this false representative of Christ, you have an imitation. You have a doppelganger. You have a a, a false representation of Yeshua, and so they accept that because it's easy to accept that. Yeah, it's easy to take the the the, the false narrative, so that it doesn't require anything of you. That you're not uh, born in sin. Right. There there is no God. And um, so with, with that said, I will also say this, that the enemy has no power, no, no authority outside that is which is given him through those who are living in a physical body. Exactly. He can't do nothing in this physical world without the authority of a person in a physical body giving it to him and uh and that's crazy because when you think about the authority that every one has in this realm how desirable it is to him mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he doesn't recognize the fact you know the fact is i think one of the maybe uh with this this teaching and even putting this out, maybe we should go back and talk about the fact is ministries are supposed to teach you how to fight a warfare. Yeah. And and the weapons of our warfare, you know, the scripture is very clear, it's not cardinal, but mighty through God, right? And and for the pulling down the strongholds, how? By the word of God. That's what you're talking about putting the whole armor of God. The whole armor of God is talking about the word of God. Yeah. Each it, each each piece of armor represents yeah. a spiritual gift that comes through the knowledge, <laughs> understanding, yeah. and applied faith 
of God's word. Come so on. without that, you are, are weak, you are helpless, and you are, no matter how your will is set to do good, you will fall prey to the enemy's uh, desires. Yeah. You can't withstand them. Yeah. And look, you know, look, we, that we we're talking about the fact that one time we did a, a study talking about uh, weapons qualified, being weapons qualified. Uh -huh. Many, look like many, a lot of ministers are not, either they're not doing it or the people just don't want to become weapons qualified. Here's that chart I showed you a couple of weeks ago. You know, mm -hmm. when it says, how much of the Bible have you personally read? And really, that could be easy to say, how much have you become weapon qualified yeah. to fight the spiritual warfare that you must face every day of your life? Yeah. You, you know that? You know, it's interesting because Christ even gave the Lord's Prayer to sit there and tell you, you know, you need to have this daily bread in you. You need to know the will of the Father in you in order for you to really fight the enemy. Mm -hmm. When he said, deliver us not into temptation, <laughs> uh, or deliver us from evil, because <laughs> it's real. <laughs> it's real. How do you get delivered? From the word of God. He gives you the word. And in this 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 chart here, people, that anybody get to read when see this video, it's talking about 10% numb of it. Tell me, either, this is a sample population supposed to represent the survey and representing the claim two billion Christians, right? So ten percent of the two billion have not even read the gospel. Thirteen percent, only a few sentences. Now, you see that a few sentences mean a few verses they have read, right? Thirty percent of the two billion. With the same population, obviously, just a sample population, but that's what it's trying to represent, right? 30% several passages of stories. And we talked a couple of weeks ago, they probably read the, you know, David and Goliath and the Noah uh, story, uh, but they don't know a lot of the stories. So, how do you go to fight the, 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 uh, the enemy? It says 12, 15%, at least half of it. That's, 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 that's encouraging 15% of the people read half of the Bible. 12% mm -hmm. almost all of it. Almost all of it. You know, you read, you talked about it last week yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, the fact is that, no, I haven't read the whole Bible yet. Oh, no. uh, but but the thing is, that, the thing is that it's encouraging people to continue to read it, yeah. especially the New Testament. Have you read the whole New Testament? Oh, yeah. You must have. That's yeah. what I'm saying. As a Christian, that is what, that's, if you profess to be a Christian, you need to read it. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I used to have an issue mm -hmm. with those uh, Gideon Bibles. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. they just removed, completely removed the Old Testament. Uh -huh. you know? And uh, it, it would bother me, even the little small pocket Bibles. I mean, even though I wanted them because it, it did have the New Testament, Something about it bothered me because it wasn't a complete Bible. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, at least it had this dispensation of information. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> to make exactly. you victorious in this life, in this time. Um, the rest of it, I mean, you read, you you get through that that New Testament. Come on now. I think it requires you so that you can actually go back in the Old Testament and see the types and shadows mm -hmm. of what the New Testament is. Yeah. And um, man, imagine living the Old Testament times when it was just types and there was, there was no way of figuring this out. Exactly. Nobody had the Holy Spirit to reveal these revelations to them. It was a individual. Yeah. Yeah. That was given the knowledge and the revelation of God to share with a specific person or a group of people uh, to move God's uh, will along through through time. And so, uh, man, to, to be absent of the presence of God for periods of times other than your the, the things that you do on a daily basis that are to remind you right 
of who you are can get complacent and you, you know, and then it's not really, in my mind, it can be so complacent that you don't really understand the the purpose of it or the the power in it or the reason for it. Right. You know, the purpose of a thing. So it, it, if you, like uh, Miles Monroe would say, if you don't know the purpose of a thing, you will abuse a thing. You abuse that. Matter of fact, that's what I, I'm in Judges now in the Old Testament, right? Mm -hmm. Judges talks about how they went up and down. Yeah. They, 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 they didn't know. <laughs> yeah, they, 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 they would forget yeah. why they did what they did and they would lose the covering yeah. God would put on them. Not that God would pull away from them, uh -huh. they'd pull away from God. Exactly. And they he would force that. his hand yep. because he could only do so much according to the plan that he laid out. Not that he could not perform it, but he laid out a plan that he could not interfere with unless the, all of creation would fall apart. Yep. Because this was set in motion from the beginning of time. Yeah, he gave he gave them he gave us a choice with free will being. Yeah. yeah, and 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 the judges I'm looking at like from Deborah, to, uh, Gibeon, and you'll see where these judges come in and the people cry for God because they needed help because they yeah. got in trouble, and 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 then they they do their thing and the land would be at rest for forty years. A lot of cases I've been seeing that pattern, forty yeah. years, and after forty years, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know about this Gideon, I don't know about this Deborah, I don't know about these other judges, I, I don't know nothing about that. I, but they, but look, they had no problem knowing about these bail. Yeah, no, that was easy you because it, it it satisfied the lust of the flesh. There you go. Oh, so yes, yeah, that's easy. Mm. You know, but to restrain the flesh. Yeah. It was okay. Those faith, those religions, those call them pagan religions. They were entertaining the flesh. That's the point. Isn't that's it? the point. That's that yeah. point. And 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 it was it was set up by Satan, but at the wiles of the desires of man. Mm, because there's no temptation. That's yeah, not common to man. Not common to man. It, it yeah. was it was the desires of man's hearts mm. that the enemy used to actually make these these people worship false gods. Yeah, yeah. You know, fallen fallen angels, or or even not even the fallen angel, but the the, the, the things that are made by man. Exactly. Are below yeah. man. How yeah. you worship a cow? Mm -hmm. You know what? What? What deity? I mean, what? But milk, <laughs> food. You gonna eat? Well, then again, they uh, they do compare Christ when he says you must drink my blood. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I did find it interesting that they did use a golden calf. Yeah. Uh, as as their choice. When they yeah. wanted to, to to go back, you know what I mean? Yeah. Interesting. I just thought about that. But the the uh, remember God was talking about Baal worshiping, where they do they sacrifice their children. Yeah. And, and He said that that never even came into my mind for you to do that, and yet you gravitated to you know something like that. That's yeah. that's the point. So I, I can see where the writing of the scripture became important because people forgot God. Yeah. They, they, they did. I mean, uh, Joshua. And you just can't have, you can, it's been proven, mm -hmm. you know, in, in many of, of scenarios where you'll have like an icebreaker for a meeting or something like that, where you can have just 10 people yeah. and you can say something to one person in the ear and they turn and say it to the next person. And by the time it gets to that 10 person, it is not what was told to the first person. Yeah, which is why the writing, that's why stuff was, that's why it was written down. Exactly. And look, and now 
Matter of fact, that, look, this study could take that whole new turn, which is the point is why you need to read the word for yourself, because you won't get the same experience uh, of the other person that's preaching or teaching yeah. without you reading it for yourself. You can't, you can't, which can't, you can't, you can't feed off of their residue. You know what I mean? <laughs> you, 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 you have to, you have to take their, their witness, their testimony to say, man, I need to read this for myself. Mm -hmm. Not hear what he has to say about yeah. the revelation. Yeah, I mean, it's good for him to do that, but that's not where you get your revelation from. You get it personally by reading the scriptures for yourself and living for yourself. But the whole point you, we just really just talked about the fact is, if you don't do the reading for yourself, you're gonna end up with the same situation or the foreshadows of the Jewish, the Hebrew people, hmm. right? They didn't read, they didn't have scrolls. Well, they must have them. They, didn't. they had scrolls, but they yeah. weren't, they didn't have access to them. Yeah, yeah. The masses didn't have access to them. That's what they wanted the Levites to be, you know, yeah. for them. The, your, your role is to minister and maintain the temple. Yeah. Uh, but they didn't. And the people won't read it. Oh, look, like you said, think about it. When Christ went to the temple, the, the uh, synagogue, and, and read the Isaiah. Now, I don't know what their custom was, but it seemed like they tripped out of the fact that he got up and read that scripture, right? Yeah. <laughs> and, and you almost say, okay, does everybody get up there to read the scroll for themselves? Yeah. Or just a selected few? Yeah, and and I can only imagine that to get up there to read, if, if it was just, you know, uh, by happens chance, whoever was motivated to go down and read at that right. particular day, you know, if it wasn't assigned to an individual or somebody, right? You wouldn't expect a common person to do that because common people could not read. Yeah. God bless you. I hope you enjoyed the uh, second session that we just came through. Like I said, I try to break them up in uh, 25, 30 minute segments, and I try to bring them A, B, C, and D. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you listened to the fact that we was talking about the, even the Catholic Church, the Pope is, is denouncing and addressing the doctrine of discovery, which really is the doctrine of steal, kill, and destroy. Because that's what they did for colonialism. They took people's culture, they took people's land, they took people, and they tried to take their culture and everything else away from them. And that's not what the teaching of the gospel is all about. And that's why I'm trying to t encourage you to read the Bible for yourself. Read it for yourself. Because that's where you'll learn and be able to recognize when somebody even actions or words or where they line up with the gospel. Too many times we go by what we heard. We go by what we heard because we know that some of the things that we hear lines up with our flesh. And our flesh desires no good thing. Or in our flesh, there's no good thing. And sometimes we have a tendency to go and lead toward the things of the flesh opposed to the things of the spirit. That's why you need to read the scripture for yourself. Don't, don't, don't just go to church. Study the word of God for yourself and learn to live and be able to overcome life by keeping in the word. I have to keep in the word. It's not, faith doesn't come by hearing, it comes by hearing. So we need to be able to hear the word of God daily and recognize that we grow. Even Lord's Prayer, the daily prayer, the will of God, and all the gifts of all the word of God. So we need to make sure we stay in the word of God. Hey, I'm really glad you took time to this our session. I really appreciate your support. And don't forget to subscribe. And I guarantee you, if you incorporate the, old, the New Testament in the morning with your prayer, because you should be praying daily as well. If you have the time, you get an audio book. I like, I like audio books, right? Where the, 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 the person is reading the scriptures for me. Because that way I ain't got to struggle with all the words and all the other stuff. So I, I encourage you to use an audio book or app on your phone that reads the scripture and read that one chapter a day. 
I guarantee you love it because you're listening. Faith comes back here and hear the word of God. And you're also dealing with the different words today that not, the Lord has made. Me. I mean, we shall rejoice and be me, glad like in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. So that's what I care. Don't forget to God subscribe. be the glory for all the good things he's done listening. in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.